Good morning and welcome to another episode of The Daily 5 at 10, your daily 5-ish minute Esli update. I'm your host, Jasmine Tran. And I'm Zeke Samoy. Today is Wednesday, September 14. Pop quiz, Jasmine. It's every given Wednesday, so what does that mean? It means it's time for our newest segment, Last Minute. With the almighty Eric Walcott and Edward Cullen Durrance. Today they will be announcing the first winner of our SLA NFL football pool. And nothing goes better with football than... A hoagie! And lucky for us, today is National Eat a Hoagie Day. Sounds like I have lunch today. If I don't eat it first. So without further ado, this is Last Minute. This is Last Minute with Edward Durrance and Eric Walcott. Hey everyone, welcome to the second week of The Last Minute, the show dedicated to the NFL football. And making fun of the New York Giants. You mean the team that won uh, for six years, we've always started week one with the loss, and we finally pulled off the W for our season opener. Uh, anyway, uh, no need to talk about the Giants winning. Let's see how this past week's games panned out. Like the Niners lose. <laughs> 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 Sorry. And the Green Bay Packers, you know, what was going on with Rodgers and that whole offense? What offense? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but on a positive note, um, what about Monday night's game, man? Geno Smith making his comeback. Actually, he uh, he played well. I'm not sure uh, what the Broncos head coach was doing. Mm. Uh, anyway, so I'm sure all of you watching are wondering who won the first week's football pool which we will announce shortly. But first, let's talk football and how the SLA core values are represented in it every week. First is Knowledge Able, which Kyler Murray did not represent since he does not watch any films and he ended up getting crushed by Mahomes and the Chiefs 44 to 21. Yeah, pretty embarrassing. And don't forget about the motivated New Orleans Saints. Even when down 13 points in the third quarter, they did not give up and defeated the Atlanta Falcons 27 to 26. And then we have Collaborative, which the Cincinnati Bengals did represent, even though they lost 23 to 20. They were a team that came together and fought to the end, even with five turnovers in one game. Uh, it was a tough loss, but I respect Joe Burrow for not crumbling under pressure. So Eric, what was your favorite game of the week? Um, Honestly, Eve, my favorite game of the week was the season opener on Thursday, the Bills versus Rams. Um, Josh Allen, he has something to say after last year's demoralizing loss to the Chiefs in the playoffs. You know, his first drive, he goes nine plays, 75 yards, and got the Bills their first touchdown of the night. They end up beating the Super Bowl champs, the Rams, 31 to 10. So, E, you know, what was your favorite game of the week? The Bucks and Cowboys? Uh, well, the Cowboys <laughs> lost, so that's always a great thing for yeah. all of us. Uh, but honestly, I felt the Bucks offense was a little off and something was missing. Maybe the lack of preseason games affected them. Uh, but it's still only week one and there's a lot of football to go. True. Speaking of a lot of football we have left to go uh, for week two, I'm of course looking forward to my Giants rocking those Carolina Panthers. And I'm also looking forward to the Dolphins versus uh, Ravens. I want to see how Tyreek Hill does against the Ravens defense and Lamar Jackson uh, play while he's still not under contract. Um, he's, he's waiting until the end of the season to see if he stays in Baltimore or not. Well, those should be some good games and Lamar is looking for his payday, so it should be fun to watch. Uh, personally, um, I'm looking forward to the Chargers versus Chiefs game this Thursday. I really like Justin Herbert as a quarterback and Mahomes is always a top QB in the league. So any chance I get to watch two amazing quarterbacks play, I'm always ready to go. I couldn't agree with you more, E. Um, those are some amazing quarterbacks and I can't wait to watch it. Now, I'm sure you're all wondering who won the first week's SLA football uh, 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 Hold on there, my naive New York Giants fan. We had a tie in one of the NFL games. It was the Indianapolis Colts versus the Houston Texans. Now, since there was no winner in this game, it will not count in the total score for this week's pool. Just a little disclaimer. So now it is time for the winner. Eric, will you do us the honor? I got you. So the winner of this week one is Alice Doe. Yeah, congrats. You are well on your way to winning as many Super Bowls as Tom Brady, uh, which is how many again, Eric? I have no idea, nor do I even care. But I know he doesn't have two because of my guys right here. Ah, gross. <laughs> Don't remind me of that. Well, congrats, Alice. You got yourself a $25 Visa gift card. Now remember, week two's football pool will be out today, and you must send your picks to me no later by tomorrow at noon. No seats will be accepted after that. And as one last minute reminder, there will be two Monday night games this week, so you must select a winner for each game and the total number of points scored for each game. It's just like last week's Monday night, but with a second game. And that just about does it. Thank you everyone for watching. This has been The Last Minute. Thank you, and remember, as long as the Dallas Cowboys lose, we all win. Back to you, Zeke and Jasmine.
Thanks, Ed and Eric. Those are those two are sure fun to watch on screen, aren't they, Zeke? Yep, I sure had fun watching those two on screen. Right, right. Well, luckily they'll be on the Bailey Five at Ten every Wednesday. Every but, given Wednesday. But do you know what segment is on here every single day? What's going on in the SLA? More sports! Our annual basketball and volleyball game is in two days on September 16th. It will be from 5 p.m. to 7.45 p.m. at the NorCal Courts, located at 360 Ferry Street in Martinez, California. Sign-ups are out now, so be sure to fill it out if you want to play. And now, for our grand finale, it's the Daily Giftaway. So Jasmine, what's today's national day? Well, Zeke, nothing says football like a hoagie sandwich. Mm, mm, mm. I get it. This looks like a football. Wow. <laughs> well, today's winner is going to receive a $25 gift card to Safeway. It tastes like one too. Like a football? football? I thought you made that sandwich. I did. Well, since Zeke used to work at a deli, I heard he's offering to make all of us Slayers some sandwiches. And I heard that Jasmine's gonna buy everyone's sandwiches from me, haha. <laughs> ha! What? Anyways, let's make a day's winner. I didn't agree to that. Today's winner is... <laughs> what? You have a crumb on your... <laughs> Sherry Tebow, congratulations! Into the winners, there you go, Sherry. And don't forget to email us at 5 at 10 at slaycow.com to claim your prize or if you have any comments or questions about the show. Last minute announcement don't forget that our SLA basketball and volleyball game is this Friday. With that, replacing your daily work coffee break, I'm Jasmine. And I'm Zeke. Thank you and good night. a hoagie sandwich. Mmm, tastes like one too. I have a toy I looked at a deli. I heard that he's offering to make all of us Slayer sandwiches. I didn't say that.